Seriously, what was that? Base family, YouTubers, hopefully you are having a beautiful day out there. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really specific picking exercise that if you get into your plane, it's gonna make you way smoother, way faster, and way cleaner. And I'm gonna show you just two specific exercises that are gonna help you get it in your plane. And if somehow you have missed it, in this video, I'm also going to tell you how you can win one of these amazing bases that we're giving away right now over 40 grand's worth of bass gear within this video so stick around now you know all those bass players that seem to have that like extra sixth gear when it comes to playing the bass right guys like richard bonner <laughs> Obviously, Gary Willis. Well, all of those guys use a really specific picking technique with their plucking hand, and it's really the secret behind what gives them the facility to play those really fast lines. And it's not just the jazz shredders that use this, guys like Joe Dart use it as well. In fact, here's a clip of Joe Dart using this exact technique. <laughs> But the one guy that absolutely blows my mind every single time I hear him play, and he really does use this technique a lot, is the monstrous Hadrian Fro. <laughs> Now that clip was taken from a live SBL workshop that we did with Hadrian and a super special guest turned up as well, which was extra cool. In fact, here's some really special behind the scenes footage for you. Have you ever been to a workshop where you just sort of like sat in the audience there and the guy's just, you know, he's performing and then he's taking questions and, and it's just like mind blowing, life changing kind of like experience, right? Well, I've been to a good a few of those in my lifetime and what we wanted to do is try and recreate that for um, Scott's bass lessons. Come with me and uh, do you like my uh, tripod stand as well that I've just been, that's what you've been sitting on. It's too dark. Oh, it's not too dark. Good. Is this okay? Is it okay? <laughs> Dude, how's it going? What? Chanel! <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see this one? So what have you done here with the strap button? Did you do this? Yeah, I did actually. Oh, I need to show you this. This saved my life. Basically, you know how I always play like this, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. but now, let's see, I put the bolt here. Oh! So check this out. So there's this, this strap that comes like this, and then you get this one. What the hell? That, that <laughs> goes around the, the waist, and then there you go. So that goes on there, and where, where does this one go? And this one is around, and I, you know, I oh, hide it like this. so it actually both. So it's both. Eggs go onto and, there. And, and now, what does that do? Just hold it yeah, out. And now it's, 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 it's sitting like this naturally. So that allows me to, to, to get my, my forearm off the body. Right, and then it. I'm yeah, completely yeah. in full power. Yeah, as yeah, opposed yeah. to when I was playing like this. And I was playing at, I don't know, 80% because like this cuts your, yeah, this blocks your tendons some, somehow, and I, I don't know how I played like this for years. Is that a brand new bass? Brand, brand new Fender? From no. or someone, someone had? No. Where did it go? Did I leave it in the cold? So please give it back, cause it's not yours to take. 
Okay, so what is the thing that ties all of this together? All of these guys, what do they have in common? Well, the thing is, they all use economy picking when they're descending through a line. When they're ascending, going up through a scale, they're not doing that, they're just using, you know, they're using alternate picking always. Obviously, this is, if you're not into this already, you need to get into alternate picking, okay? Which means whatever line you're doing, when you're ascending through a scale or a line, you always use index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, alternate, right? But when you're descending, that is when the economy picking comes into play. Now, I hear you, you're saying, Scott, what's the economy picking and how do I get it into my play? Well, the good news is I've got two specific exercises that are really simple to get this into your playing and I'm about to tell you exactly what it is. So the easiest way to think about economy picking is when you're descending through a line, descending, going down. <laughs> When you go from one string to the next, you use the same finger on your picking hand. Right, let me give you an example of this. I'm gonna take a C major. Okay, C major scale. Whoa, 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 I hear you. You're saying I've got a four string scot. That's cool, you can play any major scale, okay? Any major scale, or you could just play C up here. I want you to play from the root note down to the octave then down to the one, one more note. So it's three notes a string, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Simples. Now once you've got that, check out this hand. I want you to play alternate, but when you move in from one string to the next, you double up. So if you start with the index, it's gonna look like this, okay? Index, middle, index, index, middle, index, index, middle, index. You get it? Now, that's great, and a lot of players do that, but we need it to be equally as efficient from the middle finger as well, otherwise you end up stumbling over yourself, okay? So now let's play the same line, but starting with our middle finger. It's gonna look like this. Middle, index, middle, middle, index, middle, middle, index, middle. Now practice it to begin with without any time, you know? You don't need a metronome on, you don't need to be doing anything other than just checking you're using the damn right fingers, right? <laughs> Once you've got that, you can grab a metronome if you want to. So this is like 100 BPM, so do ba do ba do ba do ba do Index finger to begin with, right? Here we go. <laughs> Now with the middle finger. Index again. Middle. Index. Inde middle. Index. Middle. Index. Middle. Index. Middle. Okay, you don't need to get it to that top speed, but that's where we're aiming, right? To be able to. Now doing that alternate picking would be a bitch. It'd be so hard. Obviously, when you've got it using with both, you can mix it up and start. So I'm using rake in there as well. Index, middle, middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, index, middle, index. So when you're playing those thirds, that's where also, you know, it starts doubling up there. You double up a finger. But also when you're descending through an arpeggio, you're going to be using economy picking, right? So, okay, when you're descending, that's exactly, that's how you get those lines. Now obviously you've got the, uh, you're gonna be building your technique together, but shouldn't you be getting it together on an awesome bass?
See the segue there? As I said at the beginning of this video, uh, we're actually giving away these amazing bases and some lifetime memberships at SBL and some base straps, a ton of stuff, over, over 40 grand's worth of base gear. And it's totally free to enter the giveaway. All you need to do is click the link below this video. It'll take you straight over and then you can do it there. But the thing that I want to point out as well, which is really unique about this giveaway, other than the amazing bases, we've got an exotic, we've got a Sadowski, a Stenbach, a Mike Lull, we've got an Alpha Instruments at the end. These are really just like fantastic instruments. But what's really special about this specific giveaway is we're partnering with Pencils of Promise, who are a fantastic organization that build uh, schools out in developing countries. And what we're trying to do is raise enough money through this giveaway to build a school um, in partnership with Pencils of Promise. The gag is, or the, not the gag, is that the giveaway, to enter the giveaway, is actually completely free. So if you want to find out more about it and f figure out how we're giving away bases and building schools um, and how it's free to enter, just click the link below this video and it'll take you straight through. But before you go anywhere, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do that below. First of all, it would make my day, um, but also hopefully I'll make your day every week and um, because when you subscribe and hit the notification button on, it means every time I upload one of my weekly videos, you're gonna get notified about it. Notified about it? Did I pronounce that right? Notified about it? Who knows? Anyway, it'd be make my day if you subscribe. Take it easy and I'll see you in the shed.